Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. If you're new here, my name is Ken. I'm Andrea. And we are headed to Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas on a seven night Alaska cruise. We're so excited to share this adventure with you. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on this week's vlog series to Alaska. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. We stayed out in Linwood, about 30 minutes from Seattle. We're headed towards the cruise terminal now, but first we will drop off our car in long-term parking close to Smith Cove Cruise Terminal or Pier 91. We made it to the parking here in Seattle. We're at Seattle Cruise Park and it's 187 is what we paid for the week and they do have a shuttle right over to the ship. We did have to make reservations online, so this is something that you have to plan ahead for. They loaded our luggage and a quick five minute shuttle ride over to Pier 91. I'm so excited. Looks like there's two ships in port today. We've got the Celebrity Solstice. And of course, the beautiful Ovation of the Seas. You ready, Andrea? Yeah, I'm excited. We just need to drop off our bags. And through the line, which there's not much of this morning, do our check-in and we'll be all set. Zero wait to get on the ship. That's amazing. We're That's walking amazing. right on right now. Don't forget to get a picture with the ship, which you can buy on board. Boarding time! Woo. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Ovation of the Seas. I feel like skipping. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I can already tell this is a very beautiful ship. Now we have entered on deck five and we're overlooking the beautiful Royal Esplanade. I always love this area on Royal Caribbean. And hey, look, it's the Bionic Bar. How cool is that? We need to go find our muster station A2. Let's go find it. Have you watched the live ticket demonstration? Yes, we did. All right, perfect. So you know how to wear the live this ship is beautiful. There's so much to see. It's gorgeous. Wow. Big chair. Big chair. Let's explore the ship a little bit more. This is the music hall located on decks four and it goes down to deck three. There's bars in here. There's a dance floor. There's a stage for live music. There's pool tables up here. What a cool venue. I'm really excited to see the shows and entertainment in here this week. Let's take a look at this English pub called the Amber and Oak. It's located on deck four. The decor is nice and dark and super cozy. Now during the week, I know there'll be lots of live music here, including karaoke. Now, one of the rooms I do want to check out is this one right here. It's the Wonderland Imaginative Cuisine. Just follow the finger in. Now, this is a beautiful room. Look at that gorgeous glass chandelier. I love how big it is and it's super interesting to look at and check out all these different chairs. Wow. I love how they all fit together. It's so interesting. I love spaces like this where it's easy to sit and people watch the people below. Really nice area. It's really nice. The schooner bar? Schooner bar? Yeah. I can never say that properly. <laughs> Let's go check out 270 at the aft of the ship. 
The 270 is located at the aft of the ship on deck five. It's a two-story lounge or theater. Now the 270 gets its name for the 270 degrees of glass in which you can view the ocean from. It's absolutely amazing. In the evening shows, they can cover that up and put video on them. And the stages here go up and down during the performances. Look up, look way up. Some of the elevators midship are glass and you can look all the way down to the promenade below. There's a really cool glass platform that you can stand on between deck 13 and 14. Let's head on outside. When you come out the doors here, you'll see the running track and there's the North Star up there. We plan on riding that later on in the week. If you're traveling with kids, they'll enjoy Deck 14 Splash Away Bay where there's water slides and a current pool to cool off in. In this area, you'll also find the Sky Bar as well as the main outdoor pool and a large video screen. Outside and inside pool area. And in port today, we also have the celebrity solstice. And everyone down there getting on the ship right now. How's your lunch? You know, I'm super impressed. There are so many choices and so much that you can take. I struggled to decide and it all tastes delicious. Lots of meat, of course Caesar salad. Wow, gorgeous day. Seattle. I believe that's Mount Rainier off in the distance. Trying to get the perfect photos. It is beautiful and I don't want to miss an opportunity to capture the mountains. Did you see the mountains? Not right here over there? There are so many fun activities on this ship. This is really amazing. At the aft of the ship, you'll find the Flow Rider as well as the I Fly Skydiving Simulator. And the Flow Rider here, what an awesome day to do this on an Alaskan cruise. Carpe Diem. Shuffleboard. Wanna play some shuffleboard? I don't know how to play. I don't either. Is that good? It's one o'clock and we are able to go check out our cabin. Let's go check it out right now. So we have an interior virtual balcony. It's cabin 7521. Too many bags yet. No bags yet. I almost ripped open the wrong room tags. <laughs> Not those ones. We're in this cabin here. You want to give us a quick tour, Adra? Yes, so this is cabin 7521. Again, it's an inside virtual balcony. So when you come in, you have your thermostat so you can adjust the temperature, get your light switch. This is wonderful. A full size length mirror. You're excited about that. What's in your hand, Adra? A magnet. A magnet. We brought it's these. a hook, actually. It is actually, yeah, we got them off of Amazon. If you want to pick some up, we'll have them linked below in the description. But uh, walls, ceiling, magnetic, awesome. Super. Lots of extra hooks now. Super awesome. All right, really nice mirror that's lit. It's great for putting your makeup on. Two plugs, so two North American plugs, two USBs, and then a European plug. And we actually bought one of these as well with a PD port and USB 3. Now we've got some extra plugs. If you want one of those as well, we'll have them linked below. All right, so a nice television here that pulls out. So if you are watching from bed. Not all the way it. though. No, that's true. Just to there. So it's on an angle. A nice feature, do. yeah. 
I thought a 40 inch TV maybe? I think so. Yeah. There hair dryer. A hair dryer. It's like the hotel kind. Mm -hmm. Nothing too fancy. No. And then this is not technically a fridge. It's a cooler. It's smaller, so it's not as cold, cold. But it does keep your stuff cool. Cooler, yeah. Some drawers. Those are just basic drawers there. And here is our bed. It's currently set to a king size bed. They can also separate it to two twins. And it is curved here at the end as well. So you pointed this out, Andrea. This is a lot of space up there. That's a ton of storage. Yeah. Super duper helpful. Don't store heavy stuff up there on the wavy days. <laughs> that could be dangerous. So each side has its own light. This side has a telephone and there is an open shelving for your nightstand. Same as this side here, so open shelving. No USB ports on either side of the bed, but there is a standard plug here and a main light switch as well. So that comes in handy. Coming back this way, let's check out our virtual balcony. Live view from the side of the ship. No couch, no. but there is a comfy chair to sit. That's nice to have. And then our wardrobe here. So there's a fair about amount of hangers. You can also hang down here. Our safe, pretty small. Yeah. It'll work. And some more drawers. Some more drawers down here. Down there. And a big hook up there. That's handy. That's really handy. But it's good to have some extras. But look, we have more hooks. We like our hooks. This makes me happy. Right away to see the glass or acrylic shower door. Super nice. Your basic shower. I'm 5'11", so if you're really tall, it could be tight. There is a body and hair hair and body wash, so there's no conditioner. There are some really tall people on our ship because the tall convention is on here. So the guy we saw earlier is definitely going to have some headroom issues in here. There is. Now there's no clothesline in here, but there is hooks, so you could hang a wet swimsuit there and to dry. And hooks there as well. So. The other side, yeah. You have your cruise toilet, shelving going up the one side, a spot for electric razors, small sink, shelving below and a trash can, and then of course your towels. What makes this cabin feel even more spacious is there's no coffee table to walk around, so it feels more open. But then you're going, but what if I want to eat in my cabin? No problem. This pulls right out, so. That's handy dandy. Voila, you have a table. You can put it right here by your virtual balcony. <laughs> and that's our cabin. And I feel like for how small it is, it's quite spacious. Big kind of open area here in the middle and lots of lighting. And I actually kind of dig this uh, virtual balcony behind us. So we bought the coffee select card for 15 specialty coffees and we need to go pick it up at La Patisserie. <laughs> La Patisserie at the Royal Esplanade on deck four. I wanna check out the solarium. The solarium is located at the front of the ship on deck 14. It's for ages 16 and up. The solarium is a big reason why I wanted to book the ovation of the seas. I believe it is perfect for Alaska. I 100% agree. It's got these beautiful tapered infinity pools where the water flows over the edge. It's also got two large double whirlpools. So two of these here at the front, you can even walk outside and stand on top of the bridge. This is an amazing place if you want to stay inside in the warmth and enjoy the Alaskan views. Looking back here, you've got the sunshine bar there and the beautiful glass ceiling. I think this is the absolute perfect venue. Do you want to go do the spa tour? Yes, I love those, the benches, the ones that are heated. The, heat, the heated benches. Oh, then I never want to get up though. <laughs> How's that? Lovely. So this one's love. really, really lovely. <laughs> There's so many extra details on the ship that make it so interesting, including this cute mama panda and her cub. There's also a large climbing wall here on the side of the ship where you can test out your climbing skills. And right nearby, you are gonna find the C-Plex with all sorts of games and activities. Right now, they've got roller skating. And sometimes they even have bumper cars. 
and also grab a hot dog while you're here at the Cplex Doghouse. Afternoon cup of coffee. It's Lavaza coffee. It's actually really good. I'm enjoying it. How about you, Andrea? Yeah, and the mugs are decent size too, which is nice. Nice big mug, nice big coffee. But who can complain? We're on a cruise ship, right? So. How's the cone? It's good. It's good. Vanilla. We are off to Alaska. Yay. We need to put our phones in airplane mode soon. Yes. Sail away time. What a fun sail away we had out of Seattle. We had yeah. the most beautiful weather. Amazing weather. And a week ago they were calling for rain, so this is a pleasant, pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. And I, the first rocking I felt the whole trip was right this second. So um, did you feel this go back and forth? I did feel the yeah. little wiggle wiggle. All of a sudden there's a little wiggle wiggle. Did so. you notice the uh, our virtual balcony is back on? Well, when we it just went out and went black and we were gonna film this and then now I think it just popped back on. I can see it in the background there. So oh, look, you can see the celebrity solstice, I believe. Yeah, that's funny. The celebrity <laughs> solstice is sailing by on our virtual balcony right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, dinner reservations, 645. My, yes, we have my time dining, so we could select our time. Mm -hmm. So And then we're gonna do that. We're gonna go for some shows after that. So it's gonna be a fun evening here on the Ovation. So the virtual balcony at night looks like it's snowing <laughs> or there's a storm. It's cool, hey? <laughs> it's like retro childhood, move the bunny ears kind of. What a wonderful evening we had here on the Ovation of the Seas. It was a lot of fun and we did a lot of things. We did, yeah. So let's let's start out with dinner. Dinner, yeah. yeah. Actually, first off, we have some snacks. Our bedtime snack. We did a little trip down to the cafe promenade mm -hmm. and they have cookies down there that you can pick up. Plus I haven't some other tried desserts. this one yet. It's kind of a coconutty cookie. Did let me know. Is it good? It is good. I got one too. I think mm -hmm. I got a a raisin one. I don't think it's chocolate chip as well. It's raisin. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Regardless, dinner. We were, let me look at my notes, American Icon Grill, one of the complimentary... My Time Dining. My Time Dining. And yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. We, we were kind of seated near the entrance, so it was a little bit louder. But other than that, um, really good experience. Our waiter was excellent. And yeah, just a good time. Um, so American Icon Grill, what did you have for your appy? For my appy, I had, I got a note, crispy crab cakes, which was good. I didn't try it. Uh, I, well, <laughs> I did. It was, um, it's actually a good size appy though. Mm -hmm. It was uh, pretty filling and then maybe, <laughs> good thing I didn't know because I ordered two appies. I also had the spinach and artichoke dip. I did try that. Which was really good I as well. I that, yeah, that was both, good. Both excellent. I had the Caesar salad. <laughs> but I also had the, okay, I'm not going to be able to say this. Escargot a la Bergen Ganon. He had escargot. I had escargot. <laughs> I had some too. It was good. It was, they were good. I, I always feel like they taste like mushrooms, but they're covered in butter. Butter and I don't know if it's cheese or whatever, but they're good. That's if good. you haven't had them, I would try them. Yeah. And so what'd you so. have for your main entree? I had the Southern fried chicken. I really enjoyed that. It looked like so you were enjoying it. So I have it. to look here. It had a honey sauce, honey and Tabasco sauce that you could pour on it. It was like the, I don't want to call it sweet and sour. It was like sweet and spicy. Okay. And yeah, it was good. It came with um, buttery mashed potatoes, they called it, and corn on the cob. Corn on the cob, 
not full of flavor. It was it was fine, but the rest of the meal was amazing. Nice. Yeah. So I went outside of my box and I went with an Indian dish. And so I'm probably saying this wrong <laughs> here. It was the aromatic chicken. I don't know if you say sage or sag. Sag maybe. It's S A A G. So mm -hmm. forgive me, I'm not sure how that said, but it, so it reminded me of butter chicken. Yeah. It was good. It was definitely. I'm a, a baby when it comes to spice, so it was hot. <laughs> but I, I, I tried the chicken. It was, it was definitely spicy. It tasted a lot like butter chicken. Yeah, I enjoyed it though. Um, it was quite a bit of food. Yeah. A lot of rice with it. it was good. And then moving on to dessert. I had the key lime pie, which was excellent. It was fairly small, but it was excellent. And you were kind of disappointed that you didn't have the key lime pie. I was. I had the royal cheesecake, which had like a little strawberry on it mm -hmm. and it was good it was fine but the key lime had so much more flavor it was it was excellent like i would order it so again, for sure that was my mistake go for the key lime pie it was fabulous yeah um yeah our waiter was amazing they had bread they had they even brought us orange juice <laughs> we didn't even know they had orange juice and i don't know if they always do but um yeah, we had orange juice and coffee. coffee and just a wonderful time there. And we whipped out of there and went straight over to 270 Experience is what it's called in the 270, is it a theater? It's a 270 say. degree theater. Well, in the daytime it's open and you can see out. It's a real multi-purpose room, it's amazing. It's a really cool room. There's stages, things come up, there's robotic arms. Um, it's really cool and so it's open during the day you can hang out in there but in the evening they do shows and what time did that show start was it eight that, uh nine nine so yeah. i we actually walked down at eight o'clock mm -hmm. i think i may have been one of the first people to sit down yeah it said in the um compass to come early though it did or in the, sorry i should say the app but if you um if you would have come 15 minutes before, there was still a lot of spots, maybe different sailings, it's different, but yeah. there was no big rush. Mm -hmm. And the show was really good. So it was called 270 Experience. So it, it talks about, they talk about kind of the building of it and the different behind the scenes robots and shows and how they made the shows. And it was, you, you said to me, it was kind of like, something from Universal Studios, more explaining how they do things mm -hmm. and film things. So really neat show um, in the 270. That was that was good. Also, it was a good time to get the feeling for what the cruise director is like, mm -hmm. because led by the cruise director. Brian. Yeah. Yeah. And they share a lot about Royal Caribbean and mm -hmm. their innovation. So that was excellent. Yeah. And after that, though, we, we went, went to, yeah. is it, what's the theater called? Royal Theater? I think it's the Royal Theater. I think it's, well, I'll have to double check. I think it's the Royal Theater. Um, the Welcome Aboard show was over there and incorporated in that, there was also comedy with Lester Bibbs. So it was kind of half and half. It was about an, just under an hour long show. Mm -hmm. They opened up with the orchestra playing, um, which was fun. Then they played some games on the screen or with audience, audience members and had some stuff going on, on the screen. So a lot of fun, got to know, well, we didn't personally, but, um, Brian, the cruise director's out there kind of, you know, introducing himself and just sharing. And it, that was a fun show. The theater is beautiful. It's big and- It's a proper theater. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah, really nice theater. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. And then um, Lester Bibbs, comedian, did a great job. That was lots of fun. It was funny. Yeah, so um, great, great time this evening. Really good. And yeah. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is, our first sea day and we have so much we want to do on the ship tomorrow. So much we haven't seen yet too. So we're excited to share that with you today. Any other final thoughts on today? No, just, um, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like how I changed my mind. You're going to have to move your dessert here. Okay. Because if you're not super tech savvy, you may want to check either with guest services yeah. or your uh, room steward and ask for the cruise compass paper version. To come to your room. We just got that at the guest Get services. Because there's actually quite a few people having problems with their app. I think almost there is three or four um, people helping people there and 
three or four people were having problems with their apps. So. Well, mine keeps crashing. So yeah. Does yours, so, so. so hopefully it's just a temporary thing, but. Uh, but if you like paper, yeah. I also like these as a like memento to take home. Kind of a souvenir. So if yeah. you like these, just go ask for them. Yeah. So. Other than that, awesome day here on the Ovation. Um, so if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and uh, you don't want to miss out on tomorrow's vlog. So day two of the Ovation of the Sea. So we're going to let you go. We're heading to bed and we will see you tomorrow. Take care.